If you guys want to quickly learn the best OBS Studio live stream settings for Twitch and YouTube so you can play your games with no lag and still keep a high quality stream, then this is the video for you. Let's get right into it. Now for this video, we'll just be covering streaming settings. If you want to find the best recording settings for OBS, then there's a video at the top right of your screen, or there will be a link down below in the description so you can watch that. Before we do anything, you want to make sure your Windows is completely up to date and your GPU drivers are up to date. Now, I won't waste your time showing how I do that because I assume you all know how to, but it's really important that those are up to date because that is going to fix most of your guys' issues. So now let's go ahead and open up OBS Studio. And to fix all your lag while streaming, we're going to be using a different version of OBS called Streamlabs OBS. It is literally the same thing as OBS Studio, except it utilizes your computer sources much better so that you lag a lot less in your game. And now you might be worried about having to redo your scenes and sources on the other software, but there is actually a way to copy them over and I'll show you how to do that right now. So to copy your scene over to the other software, what you're going to do is go up here to scene collection, click that, make sure you're selected onto the scene you want to copy over and then click export. Once you do that, you'll be brought up with this box. Go ahead and save it wherever you'd like. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to the desktop and keep the name. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and exit OBS Studio. Don't delete it, you can actually keep OBS Studio. And now we're gonna download Streamlabs OBS so we can have a better stream. So there will be a link in the description and it will take you to this page. And of course, you're gonna simply click the download button right here. And then you'll see that it starts to download. Go ahead and click it so it will open once it's done. And now that it's open, we can go ahead and go through the installation process. And you might see this Microsoft Visual download start. That is perfectly normal. Just go ahead and let that happen. Uncheck this box that says Run Streamlabs and then click Finish. And now we're gonna make it so every time you open up Streamlabs OBS, it opens up as an administrator. And this is really important because without doing this, you'll run into a lot of problems or it'll lag a lot, just nothing good comes out of it. So all you're going to do is once you have the shortcut on your desktop or wherever it may be, go ahead and right click Streamlabs desktop and then click properties. And then once you're here, go over here to compatibility on the top and then go down here and check the box next to run this program as administrator and then click apply and okay. And now you can open up Streamlabs OBS and now you can see it looks a little bit different than OBS, but of course it'll ask you a simple question. I assume if you're watching this video, you'll want to be live streaming. So go ahead and click that. And then you can pick your platform or skip it. I'm going to go ahead and skip just for example purposes. And as you can see, you actually can import everything from OBS Studio, but this will transfer your settings. And we don't want to do that because we're going to have some better settings that will make you not lag. And we already exported our scene, so we don't have to worry about that. So now you can just click start fresh. And then since you have your profile exported, you could actually skip this. And the cool thing about Streamlabs OBS is it has some themes you can use for your stream. Feel free to pick one of these, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip. And now we can see this looks very similar to OBS Studio. And to import our scene, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Go over here to where it says scenes and click the arrow right next to it. And then click manage scene collections. Then go over here to the right side and click import load existing scenes from OBS. And now it should have automatically added to your collection. So go ahead and choose that collection and then click close. So now we're going to get into the real good stuff, which is our settings. So go over here to the bottom left and choose the settings wheel right here. And then the first thing we'll be going over is the video tab. Go ahead and choose that. Now, many other tutorials will tell you that you want to downscale your video if you're lagging, but I'm actually going to tell you that is really bad and that's the worst thing you can do. And I'll tell you why. Even if you're downscaling from a higher resolution to a lower resolution, that's still more work for your GPU to be doing on the fly. So contrary to what a lot of other people will tell you, it's best that you keep base canvas resolution on the highest option, which is what your screen will let you output. For me, it'll be 1440p, so I'll choose that. And then since we are not scaling, because that will cause lag if we do, we're gonna make sure our output scale resolution is the same as our base resolution. So for me, it'll be 1440p. And now since we're not downscaling, we can choose the bilinear option for downscale filter because this is going to be the fastest, but see how it says blurry if scaling, that doesn't matter because we're not scaling. So go ahead and choose that. It's going to fix our lag a lot. FPS type can stay here on common FPS values. And of course here you can choose the FPS. I highly recommend you guys do 59.94 or 60 because I find that there's not a huge performance difference when you're exporting 30 FPS versus 60. 
so I like to just choose 60. And now we're gonna switch tabs on the left side here. Go ahead and choose output. And now these are the only things you'll need to change. Go over here to encoder. It'll automatically be on your CPU, which is x.264. Choose that and change it to NVENC new. It might say something else if you have an AMD card. This is going to be the best option in terms of not lagging and having good quality. Make sure enforced streaming service encoder settings is checked. And then for rate control, we're going to choose CBR. And now for bitrate, all you have to do is look at the chart that's showing on the screen right now and match it up with that. So for me, I'm doing 1440p 60 FPS. So I'll go ahead and do 9,000 bitrate. And I know on that menu, it says you can do 9,000 to 18,000 or whatever the the highest number is. I wouldn't actually recommend doing that. I would recommend just choosing that lowest option because most of the time anything higher than that bit rate is going to cause your viewers to buffer a lot and you don't want your viewers to buffer. It's going to make them click off the video and it's just not good. So choose the respectable bit rate. And also if you do have a slow internet connection, you might want to lower the bit rate as well. But generally that doesn't have too much to do with your in-game lag. This is just more of an internet speed thing. And then keyframe interval, we keep that at zero, which is automatic. And now these are the biggest differences you will see in your settings. So for preset, you have two options to choose from. It'll either be quality or performance. For most of you, you're going to want to select performance because this is just a perfect medium between performance and quality. But if you feel that your stream just could use a little bit more quality and you're not lagging at all, then feel free to change this to quality. But like I said, there's not a huge difference between the two. So I like to just keep it on performance. And for profile, make sure you always choose high. This is going to be the best for color accuracy. Never choose main, despite what a lot of other misinformed YouTubers will tell you. Just go ahead and choose high. It'll be the best for your stream quality and it doesn't have any effect on performance. And for look ahead, it's really important that you have this checked because it's going to make your GPU work less when it needs to and also work more when it needs to therefore leaving more GPU power for your game. And psycho visual tuning, make sure this is unchecked because that's actually kind of gonna do the opposite. It's just gonna to use too much of your GPU's power. And for most of you, that is not a good option. GPU, keep that on default, which is zero. And max B frames can stay default, but it doesn't matter because when look ahead is checked, max B frames doesn't affect anything. And now you can go ahead and click done. So now your settings are dialed in, but I actually have a few more tips that will fix your lag problems. So of course, OBS has this live preview right here, but the problem with this live preview, as handy as it is, it causes a lot of CPU usage to be used. So go over here in this empty space next to the preview and right click it and then click performance mode. And then you'll see that the preview is disabled. So I highly recommend you guys use performance mode on Streamlabs OBS, it's going to help you a lot. Now, if you've done all that and you find that your in-game FPS is perfect while you're streaming, but it turns out you're experiencing FPS drops in OBS, I'll show you how to fix that right now. So go ahead and go back to our settings on the bottom left here, click that and then go over here on the left panel and choose advanced and then change your process priority from normal to above normal and that should fix your FPS drops in OBS. Now, if you're experiencing the opposite problem where your FPS in game is really low, but your OBS is doing just fine, then we're kind of going to do the same thing in reverse. So this will of course stay at normal because it's performing just fine. And then you'll go to your task manager, which for me, I'll right click here, choose task manager. And then let's say I have a game open in here. So I'll right click it and then click go to details. And then here it'll automatically be highlighted. You can right click it, set priority, and then change the game to above normal. And that should fix your problem if you're still lagging while streaming. But anyways, guys, those are the best OBS streaming settings I can give you. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, if you want the recording settings, there's a link in the description or a video will be showing on the top right of your screen. Leave a comment down below if you want me to make a video on something else. I read all your comments. And yeah, thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.